So let's talk about silly laws. We're, we all are familiar with silly laws. Here's a particular one. In Canada, you can't sell a medical kit without registering with the federal government, uh, getting a bunch of procedures and policies in place, getting a license to sell each and every kit. If I were to do that for every little thing that we use and that I want to sell to you, they would have to be two or three times the price. So, we're not selling you a kit. This is not an IV kit for sale. This is the Iridium Solutions IV module. Okay, we use it in the field. Um, it's got uh, a lot of things that you need and not a lot of things that you don't need. It'll get a lot of uh, shit done for a really small compact package. Now, what we've done is we've set up a special uh, product on our website that has every item in here okay, that you can buy individually because we're circling back around to stupid laws. I'm allowed to sell you each and every one of these for you to use your own personal use, use for training. I just can't put them all in a bag like this and sell them to you as a kid. So let's have a look at this. The first thing, and probably the most important, is gloves when you get in here. Now these gloves, all the gloves that I do, they're always pre-staged. If you've ever picked up a set of those Grizzly or, or whatever those other kind of gloves are, they're all rolled up super tight. It's awesome. They're really small. Try to pull those out on pre in, under pressure and there's, you know, it's dark, it's nighttime, there's blood everywhere. It's a pain in the ass and more than one very highly trained person that I know has just thrown them over their shoulder and gotten to work because they couldn't get into them quickly. So when I do gloves, I pre-stage them. The openings are sitting like this so you can find the openings even in the dark and get your glove on quickly. Gloves. Next thing, talking about IVs, you're going to need a little tourniquet. Remember, there's two words for tourniquet. One means venous constriction device so that you can get IV access, and the other one is a windless tourniquet so that you can stop uh, someone's blood from pumping out of them, keep them alive. So we've got a tourniquet in there. We've got a uh, BD safety lock, uh, IV access with lure lock. Okay, so this will work for either blood draw or infusions. Vacutainer, okay, so in case you need to pull blood for whatever reason. We've got a blood collection needle in here. We have another little bag in here. It's got multiple syringes and needles for them, okay, depending on whether you need to pull medications out of a medicine bottle or an ampule uh, or, and, and or inject it into uh, your infusion kit. We've got the band-aids that you're gonna need after you're done. I've got antiseptic wipes. We've got gauze for afterwards, real Tegaderm, not the fake stuff. This is the good stuff. This is the thing to cover up your um, site while you're doing your injection. And then another needle, which comes pre-staged for fast access. This isn't just for IVs. This can also flex into um, doing intramuscular injections, depending on how the medicine that you have is to be administered. Now let's talk about the medicines. I can't talk about the medicines. It is what it is. For what medicines you'll use, you got to find a cool doctor or somebody who can talk to you offline about that. For what medicines we keep in our kit, sorry. I'm not sure that we can get away with talking about that. For how to use this, fortunately, there's all sorts of paramedic prep videos on YouTube. You just go ask one of those folks, watch some videos, um, if nothing else. For, for buying all these things individually from us and having them ship, having us ship them to you as a training module that you can use to practice this skill should you ever need to use it or observe somebody doing it to you, it's well worth its time and the money and the energy. So have a look at those. That's the uh, IRSOL uh, Field IV Kit. Um, you have to buy all of the individual items that are on the list uh, in order for us to ship this to you. Okay, that's, uh, that is what it is. Take a look, uh, leave some feedback in the comments. If you think that people shouldn't be able to own IVs, well, you know what, put a comment. It really helps the algorithms when you pump the traffic up. Start a fight, I, I don't care. Um, if you want to know more about this, you need to seek additional training. You need to find someone who knows about setting IVs. You need to convince them to teach you and you just include that skill set. Maybe read some books. There are books that'll teach you about all this. They still print them. They are made of paper. Okay, they last a long time. Um, I'm not going to teach you about this 
yet, but I really think that it's important that you have some of the equipment that you need when the time is right for you. And I can't guarantee that the future that we're entering into is going to have that available to you. So the time is now. This is the medical hospital grade stuff. This isn't the fancy tactical stuff because that's all gone. Okay, but that's okay. We can work with that. I really appreciate you all watching. Everyone who stuck it out to the end, listening to me ramble, you guys are great. We're going to be doing a giveaway. This is your first notice about that. Uh, keep your eyes open and we'll tell you how to win something pretty cool coming up. Thanks very much for uh, paying attention to us. Thanks for sharing this video, getting the word out there. If you don't want this, but you think you know someone who does, send them a copy of the link, okay? Maybe they can help themselves out. That's what we're here. We want to help people. Remember, get out there, get training, keep getting after it, and we'll see you next time.